Welcome to Commuto, a GIS software designed to display street data at a city level, curated for commuters. This program was made for the software design and communication course at the University of Toronto, and was built in a milestone-based fashion with two other team members. The programming language that was used was C++, and the program makes use of the OpenStreetMap to retrieve data about various cities, including streets, intersections, features such as parks and lakes, as well as points of interest. By talking to OpenStreetMap, or OSM for short, through the usage of APIs and actually visualizing and drawing the spatial data through the graphics library EasyGL, we are able to create a fully functioning map as displayed here. We can see the specific intersections and streets drawn to an extreme detail, with real-time zoom level layers implemented to draw specific map data when zoomed in to various extents. All these design choices have had a lot of research put into it, and everything you see on the screen has a purpose to make the map as user-friendly for the average commuter as possible. We used Glade UI to actually implement these UI features on the screen, such as a search bar to find various intersections, a night mode toggle button that can turn the map into night mode, as well as this list of POI toggles. POIs are points of interest derived from the OSM data, and you can filter them to view various points, such as food services, medical services, and financial services like ATMs and banks. The most important point of interest, perhaps, for our map, specifically, is the transportation services that show all the essential information for commuters, including major subway lines and parking spaces nearby, as shown here. In addition, our map implements a pathfinding algorithm to display the fastest route between two intersections. By representing the map in a graph data structure, where intersections are nodes and streets are relations, or ways, we can use Dijkstra's algorithm to effectively search the structure and retrieve the fastest path from a source node, aka the starting intersection, as well as the destination. We chose to use Dijkstra's algorithm because there's no point in reinventing the wheel. It's already an industry standard algorithm that can get the job done. However, for optimization, we used an ASTAR algorithm on top of Dijkstra's to exploit the fact that we're dealing with a real-life map, and not just a superficial graph structure with no real-life meaning. The ASTAR algorithm basically takes into account the geometric distance between a node that is being searched to the actual destination node to perfect the de and uh, tone the direction of the search to find the fastest path quicker. Overall, we are thrilled with the product we were able to create. Due to the nature of the course confidentiality and academic integrity, we cannot share the source code, but we have created this demo video as a way to show our learning and interest in this course to others who may be considering a future in computer engineering at the University of Toronto, or to future employers wanting to see some of the work that we've been doing here at this amazing university. Thanks so much for listening and stay tuned for more projects like this. Thank you.